Welcome back, everybody. Episode 10 of the Best Buds podcast. Very special guest with us today, Cassius Dean. Yo, Say what's, what's up? up? Hey, Word. how y'all doing? Um, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll ask the first question. Just give, give the people like a little background on, on who you are. All right, definitely. Um, hi, I'm Cassius. I am a photographer and videographer from Hawaii, and I live in LA, and I shoot all my friends with a camera, not a gun. Just <laughs> I ain't killing my friends out here. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's kind of my, my, my life. Yeah. Uh, how did you first get into photography? Um, so in high school, um, I was like 14. And uh, my parents got me this camera. And I was like, yo, like, this is actually kind of fun. Um, so after school every day, I'd catch like the city bus to go to cool places around like Hawaii. And uh, from that, I just like progressed. I started posting on Instagram a bunch and that was like a, an obsession. I was like, I need to like post and like get content and like make that like my thing. And then I started getting um, deals with like small companies. I was like, whoa, you can get paid for this? Like you can get paid? Like, okay. So yeah, I think my first year was like 40 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so little fourteen year old Cassius was all for it. Right. Hey, yeah, making money yeah. doing so, something you like. And then it just started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I dropped out of high school um, at sixteen, graduated, and then caught a plane to LA. Wow. Yeah. Straight from Hawaii to LA. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Is there a certain uh, style of photography you specialize in? Yeah, so I've specialized in um, like brand work and um, like people. People is like my thing. Um, so like lifestyle and like basically just like, you know, just putting people at ease in front of the camera. Like that's like my thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that's pretty much it. You know, it switches up sometimes, but I, I stick to people as like my, my core. If you weren't doing photography, what do you think you would be doing? Um, honestly... I'd probably be like making more YouTube videos, Word. like the YouTube and stuff like that. Is probably what I'd be doing. Um, but if it was not media at all, like whatsoever, like probably just sitting on a beach. I guess fourteen is a pretty young age. Yeah, you found that early. Dedicated at fourteen. So yeah. What else? What Fishing else? that bag at fourteen. Are you planning yeah. on going to college or no? No. No, 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 no. Were you ever planning on going to college at some point? No. <laughs> okay. I was no like, um, I, w- I would pretend like I, w- I was planning on it in high school. I'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Word. And I was like, no. No, thank you. It's not, yeah. for, it's not for everyone. I mean, obviously, there's certain, like, professions that people are interested in that, that require college, and I, like, respect them for that. But like for me, like I just, me and school just don't really get along, you know. <laughs> no, I, 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 I understand. I know, I know people like that. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You've uh, photographed people as big as uh, Charlie D'Amelio. You know, mm-hmm. we all know that's her. the homegirl. We some love other, Charlie. Some other big people. <laughs> uh, I heard, I noted that you said you put you uh, took pictures of friends instead of famous people because they're your friends, right? Yeah, yeah, they're uh, all like my friends first. And then yeah, I just what, shoot. what is it like working with all of these people? Um, honestly, like it's pretty amazing. Um, because I was like fortunate enough to be able to meet people that are able to like help me and me help them. So it's like a mutual like benefit. We're able to like, like, you know, keep each other, watch each other's back and like work together and mm-hmm. with and like do like bigger things. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, like, all these people are, like, just, like, people. And that's, like, I think why um, my shoots can get, like, so, like, intimate and, like, just, like, really, like, personal. Because, like, it's pretty spontaneous with, with like, my friends. We usually just, like, yeah. either, like, oh, like, hey, do you want to, like, shoot tomorrow afternoon? Like, we should go, like, to the beach. And then right. at the beach, we'll just take pics, take pics or something like that. But so um, it's, it's more just, like, hanging out. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's the cool part. That's cool. Part. Yeah, that's the, that's like the the coolest part is like most of the time I don't really feel like I'm working. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. You are working. Cool. You are working with some big, big names, big names though. though. Like, uh, do you feel yeah. like? I saw you was with Vogue. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that was a surprise yeah. to me. Funny story. So. I met Lauren, Lauren Gray, a few months ago, um, and we, she reached out to me, she was like, oh, like, we should, like, take some pics sometimes, and I, I was like, okay, let's go, and then we drove out to Malibu, took some, like, pictures, and um, we did, like, a bikini shoot, and then a few months later, she came out with her And Always line for her jewelry, and I was, like, her first pick, and I was like, oh, like, thanks, and then that was, like, my first time on set, had, like, a stylist, and, like, um like a full like wardrobe team and makeup and like the whole the whole thing and that was like the first mm. time i was like oh my god something real and mm. i didn't know the clothes were gonna be in vogue like, that was a complete surprise like one day i was just like oh that's 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 my name like that's kind of cool so i was like called my mom <laughs> I was, like, yeah that's crazy. that's, 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 that's that, awesome. yeah that was so fun because um, how old how old are you i'm 18 yeah mm-hmm. what the heck an 18 year old in vogue or, like shooting pictures for Vogue that's crazy yeah how did you start was... with these uh, big name clients like uh, Charlie and all them like when did that first um, for you well for Charlie I was just we were just hanging out and then she just asked so you just, like how did you start hanging out with all these um, like um, influencers so in the beginning beginning it was just like sh- like just shooting like with set sh- photo shoots like here and there and then um, I just started like going out with them and like going to like hang out with people and then they should be their friends but I never really like I I don't like to chase people like for like oh like I need to shoot with you like yeah. I feel like that's so like aggressive and like yeah. not like mm. organic or like and it can make like your relationship feel like superficial and I I'm not really for that so I always like to let like people come to me um because you know and right. I like to like but you're a boss too, sure. Yeah, I respect <laughs> that. Yeah, it's it's a lot just better. It was way better that way. It's just yeah. a, a way better dynamic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, for all the a lot of the bigger people, um, usually they, they see that their friends are um, shooting with me, and they're like, "Oh, like, bet let's go take some pics." All right. So, do you? Uh, go ahead. Uh, do you live with like? Uh, where do you? Do you live with like one of the houses or like how I don't know how it works for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So right now, since July, I've been living at Clubhouse. Um, okay. So that's like a that's Daisy Keaches. She founded it, um, and now it's me, Tila, um, Carrington Durham, Isabel Durham, um, Lindsay Brewer. She's like a race car driver, and then we also have um, my friend Katrina and a few dancers downstairs. So it's like a pretty big group in this like pretty big house in Beverly Hills. And it's super great because oh God, I, yeah, we're just, we're just chilling. It's great. <laughs> That's awesome. It. That's awesome. It's dope. I know, I know. I definitely luck, lucked out. When I first moved in, I was like, whoa, like <laughs> this living room is the house, this the size <laughs> of like my house. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Do you have a, uh, I guess you could say like a best friend? You know, the friend that you Snapchat, or not, not Snapchat, a friend that you uh, take pictures of the most. <laughs> I was going to say, who's your favorite person to photograph, but I feel like it's just whoever you're with the most. So yeah, who, it's really right? just about who I'm with the most. Um, I probably shoot my friend Katie the most, um, just because, like, we're always going on trips together, and we're always going to go, like, I think we're going to go to San Francisco soon, and right now, that's the person I'm shooting the most. Um, I don't really have a favorite person that I like to shoot because, like, you know, I love the homies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, you have fun with everyone. Yeah. Or, but, what, yeah, that's, but, like, that's pretty what much is it. it. Sorry, what is it like uh, working with such big-time clients at such a young age? Oh, mm-hmm. right. Um, <laughs> it can get, like, overwhelming because it's a lot of people – a lot for a lot of people it takes them a while to like meet certain people you know yeah. and like um you kind of have to take like a sense of like responsibility like faster and like learn how to like, communicate better and all that kind of stuff like a lot quicker but I've also been out of high school since I was 16 so I feel like it's only like right I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be you know what I mean like when it comes to like how like hard I've worked and whatnot 
yeah. you kind of yeah. been in the spotlight for a while even though you're so young you kind of like you feel like you like matured more. yeah a lot quicker definitely a lot quicker than most people oh yeah we're... i mean yeah. you were what you were living on your own since you were 16 yeah or not like without your parents yeah that's crazy, that's yeah. crazy. i know we just started living on our own, <laughs> and, and we're like, yeah, it's like yeah. not in Beverly Hills. Take you there. <laughs> yeah, not That's not in Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, like, why do you like interacting with like fan, like followers, or like? Yeah, I love it. Um, a lot of the people that follow me are other photographers, so that's like really cool to like meet them when I go out, and I'm like, oh, like you must like taking photos too and then we talk about photos and i give them like advice if i can give them advice or like if they ever ask me questions like mm-hmm. i'm always like trying to like help people out because i wish that more people will like help me out yeah. when i ask questions you know and i'm like okay my, i might as well just like share the knowledge because yeah, why because not you know how they feel yeah i've mm-hmm. literally been there <laughs> yeah. yeah it's sweet what um, are your what are your hobbies like what do you besides taking pictures what else do you do Okay, so I, I, I surf. I know. Where? Island boy. Yeah. Okay. Like on a wave. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> um, dirt biking when it's around. And then traveling, that's like kind of it. You Dang. dirt bike in the surf? That's fire, bro. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Dirt biking and surf it. That's it's like, oh. that's legit. That's, yeah. that's, that's, too, that's, too, <laughs> that's two hard things to do, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's a mission. Did you start that in uh, Hawaii? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's why. So I, I pretty much only surf in Hawaii, but and then in California I'll dirt bike and then like hiking and stuff is sick too. But really it's just like it's kind of the polar opposites. Yeah. <laughs> or it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. You know, we're chilling. Yeah. Any any of y'all got any more questions for the man? Yeah, what's up? Hey, me, what's up? Have you been to any, like <laughs> crazy parties in LA? Um, have I gone to them? Yeah, yeah. Um, I went to a lot before COVID, like in twenty, like late twenty nineteen. Um, mm-hmm. and that's actually how I met a lot of people is through like going to like social events and stuff like that. But really, I haven't been doing much since I've been back in LA with COVID because there's just really not much happening. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you t- do you take pictures when you go? Like, just no. you're always taking pictures or not? Nah? No, no. I keep that like. You said you keep it separate. I, yeah, I. That's the one thing I really try to do is keep it very separate. It's like if I'm gonna hang out with someone, like I'm not bringing my camera. Well, like, that's that is not, that's not gonna happen. That's because, good though. Yeah, yeah. It kind of keeps like your business separate from your. Yeah, life, yeah exactly. I'll bring like a disposable camera. I go through it so often, <laughs> like you know, like a little film ones. Yeah, yeah. Those are, but I, I keep those like to myself or like send them to the person like directly just on text or something. Yeah, just for the memories. Yeah, exactly. Any other questions, anybody? How often do you uh, see your family? Do they do they fly down or? Yeah, so I go to Hawaii more often now than I ever had before. Um, I hadn't seen them since June, and then a few weeks ago I went to Hawaii, and then a week later I went to Hawaii again. Um, but yeah, that's I'm gonna start going like every three weeks. That's good. How long is that yeah. flight? Yeah, how long three and a half hours. Oof. Dang. I know. Exactly. I, I know. Think it's shorter. Yeah, I know it's it's ridiculous. But on the way back, sometimes it's faster because of like some sort of like. Yeah, I think the way the world like turns it makes it's it like the wind i was like oh it's only four hours this time that's crazy <laughs> holy shit Dang. Come on. Now, we're, we're zooming up there like <laughs> speed traveling like <laughs> exactly, right. exactly. Like a light speed are you uh are you at home right now or are you in la i am in yeah i'm, at, I'm in beverly hills right now at mikasa we're chilling with the, yeah chilling with the gang so this is episode 10 yeah Yeah, this is our 10th episode first double digits double digits wow so who are some prior guests um that we've had one like tiktok we only had 230k on tiktok which i guess compared to the people you're that's a lot he lives here yeah he lives where we live live. yeah from north carolina 
So. Oh, fire, fire. Yeah, so, so far. Right. <laughs> then we had the NBA basketball account on. Yeah, we, we've had another Instagram account on. We're just we're just trying to learn, honestly, yeah. as much as we can, taking yeah. taking in information from from people that that do things. Lives. Yeah, do do things different than we do. do live different yeah. lives. So we appreciate you coming on, though. Uh, yeah, bro, this yeah. is fun. Y'all, y'all are vibing. It's dope. This is yeah, we just chilling. Yeah, we just chill, have fun. Um, you want to plug your um, socials, whatever? Yeah, bet. Um, well, guys, thanks for having me on. You can find me at Cassius Dean on everything, um, including like Snapchat and Twitter, um, and also on TikTok. But um, yeah, also new presets coming out on December first. Check them out. Uh, check them out. It's gonna be something different. So just yeah, watch out for those. Word, yeah. word. Word. Appreciate so you coming on, man. Appreciate you oh, coming word. on. Word. Up the deuce. All right. Thanks, boys.